Hey, welcome back. So today's video is, did your parents destroy you? So the reason for this video is because in some of my talks about narcissism and parents, I get uh, different responses where people are saying, yeah, my mother destroyed me. Yeah, my father destroyed me. They ruined my life. And when I get those responses, I'm always sort of like, mm, I don't really want to like it. I don't want to love that response you know, in the comments, and I don't really know how to respond to that because I'm like, I don't even believe that. And I wanna just start off by saying the reason why I made those narcissism videos is because narcissists, especially parents, they love for it to be a secret. Sometimes they'll let it out and they'll um, verbally abuse you or physically abuse you in public, but the worst of what they do to you happens behind closed doors. And they like to pretend before others that they're such a great parent and they're so great and that you're the problem, you're crazy and you're just so ungrateful. And so this abuse that they do to you, it keeps happening and happening. And even um, people that's now adults and they've experienced that abuse from their um, parents, that narcissistic abuse, they may grow up blaming themselves, thinking that something was wrong with them. So I made the videos to shed light on the darkness that was happening to say, no, this is a valid form of abuse. People need to know that this is abuse and stop gaslighting the people who've uh, endured this, meaning saying, oh no, it's your mom. You should love her. You should know how she is. Every mom is like that. No, every mom is like that. not like that. Every mother does not love their kids. And I know that's taboo, but it's not. It sounds good. And in a perfect world, yeah, and it may make you feel good to believe that, but it's not true. But so I just made it so people can say, hey, this is this is a real thing. No, you're not crazy. And if I endure this and am experiencing some success in my life as a person who was abused by my parent, you too can overcome. So I don't just put it there so people can um, glory in being a victim like, oh, this happened to me so I can never have any success. That's not what this is about. And I do notice that the narcissism videos gets way more uh, plays than videos about how you can deal and overcome and heal. Because, um, and I think that is, uh, it could be for many reasons, but just looking at some of the comments, it's just like, Maybe some people like to stay in the victimhood mentality and just watch those type of videos over and over so it can be like, something's wrong with my mom, something's wrong with everybody, everybody is something wrong with them. But yes, because you've endured some issues uh, dealing with your, your parents, your um, abusive parents, those that have physically abused you, emotionally abused you, called you names, make you think you had no value, and also those that neglected your physical needs, didn't supply you with food, clothes, water, and things of that nature. You're going to have some issues in your life. I'm not going to say just get over it and you should be healed and you just go to therapy and everything's going to be great. No, that would be a lie. So I, w I would ask you to reframe your thought. If you say to yourself, my parents destroyed me, what you are telling your mind, you're telling your being that you are destroyed. So you have what it is you believe about yourself in your life. If you feel destroyed, every aspect of your life is going to be destroyed. It's going to be in a wreck. Why? Because you believe that. But if you reframe it to re and rephrase that to, no, my life is not destroyed. I may have some issues because I've dealt with abuse, but my life as a whole is not destroyed. You know, so yes, if you um, have experienced some abuse, you may have some PTSD where you're still having nightmares about what happened to you. You may have some, um, what else, flashbacks as if um, what happened to you is happening to you again. You may have some emotional issues, some sadness, um, the anxiety uh, that can also come with PTSD and just depression or sadness on its own. You may not feel close to others. You may not feel safe. You may not trust. You may not have relationships or good relationships and you may not be the best of friends or you may not be the best in relationships. You may avoid relationships or whatever it is because of the things that you have dealt with and you're not trusting because that most crucial relationship that you had as a child was damaged. And so your ability to attach with other things may not be up to where somebody else who had a more normal childhood would be, but that does not mean you're destroyed. That does not mean that you cannot improve and make some goodness in your life just because you have symptoms. I have some symptoms 
because of what I went through. But did I allow that to destroy me? No. You have to talk to yourself and let yourself know that, no, I can still overcome despite my mother telling me that I was fat and no man would want me. I didn't have the best of grades and I could never go to school. I wasn't talented. My sisters was more talented to, than me. And when they were in the same grade as I was, when I was in their, I mean, when they were in the same grade as me, they got better grades and they did this and this and basically just telling me that I was just nothing or oh, I had ugly brown hair and her hair was black oh my face my skin was ugly I would have teenage acne oh my god what's that on your face oh ugly brown mark on your face Ugh. what's the matter with your face despite those things I was able to get a doctorate degree I was able to go forward and now I'm um, you know working in the field that I want to work in in mental health you know, I'm not saying it was easy. Like I said, I had symptoms, you know, and there's other people who have gone through worse things. There's a lot of people, especially women and men are um, sexually abused too. There's women who have been raped by their parents, been raped by family members, men too, raped, molested, touched inappropriately, told that they were nothing. They were uh, heathen like their father. They were never going to succeed. And you are seeing some of these people on TV, maybe rapping, maybe modeling they're doing stuff and a lot of them may not even talk about the abuse they endured and so I would suggest if you want to move past this being destroyed read books by people that you know have had hard um childhoods you know watch their interviews on tv when they come on and they start discussing how they overcame because you too have the power to overcome you are not destroyed you're only destroyed if you want to be that victim and stay in that mentality of being destroyed and sometimes people don't look at the successful people especially some people in my race i'll say some people and i'm sure this happens in other people's races too where it's like anybody that's successful is oh because it's the illuminati oh it's because um you know they sold their souls to the devil and if you think those things about successful people of course how could you ever um reach the highest level to ask self what is it self-actualize like i think it's maslow to that higher level of success where you're able to bless other people with money resources and opportunities and business and corporations how are you ever going to have those things if you're always putting down people who are succeeding in your race or even other races so i would say look to those other people who have made it out of those situations and then if you still just been on saying that all the famous people are colluding or whatever with the devil look at other people you know like on my timeline there's some people i know and i know they have went through abuse but they're still posting pictures of their kids they're still posting pictures about getting new jobs and things like that i know because they experience trauma they're not going to post the pictures about where they may have nightmares still where they still ruminate constantly thinking about the trauma and it's hard to stop no matter what they do but there's also areas of their lives where they are succeeding so that's what i would say you can't come don't if you've um, experienced the abuse you may think you're destroyed because you're comparing yourself to other people who didn't go through what you went through if you have a friend or a co-worker and they're um, exceeding great in life in a certain area and you're like looking at them oh man why i shouldn't be like this man if it wasn't for my parents i could be like that no you may progress slower in some areas not all areas because of um, what you went through you may be more angrier than other people like what drake said go from zero to 100 real quick that may be you but you may be a great parent very patient with your parent but with somebody cut you in the line you may go off you know you may have a, a, an issue where you can't sustain friendships but you may be a great parent a great um you know mother a great father you may be a great artist but that's what i'm saying look stop the comparisons and just focus on you there's not a certain age where we're going to reach and say oh i'm going to be healed 100 percent of everything i endure because of my parents no you may forever have to fight in certain areas i still have to fight in certain areas but what used to make it worse was when i was like oh i'm this age i should have been over that oh i'll be this age and i shouldn't be thinking that way it is what it is you are not totally normal like everybody else and that does not mean that 
is your flaw that something's wrong with you just look at your own research and see how many people who have had something horrible happen to them it's a lot i work i work as a therapist i see it people who are look very beautiful and you would think nothing's wrong with them may have problems going on in their lives and a lot of things is um the like the battle of the mind is because how do you see the situation if you see it as one person may go through some hell and they may say man i went through some hell my mother my father my caretaker something was wrong with them but it's not me and they move on and have some success in their life and they still may have some issues but they're like they're going to maintain positivity that person is less likely to be affected by ptsd because they realize it's all in their mind how they can how they process what happened to them another person can have some hell happening like oh life is horrible nobody is ever any good my parents hated me i started off bad i'm going to end bad yes you're going to end bad because the way you're processing the trauma ha that happened to you is going to cause you to end bad because you believe that you're going to end bad so some things that i say that you can do to start moving forward things that i've done you can go to therapy contact me my information is down in the comment section oh uh, not the comment but um in the description section on how to um get a session with me you can also um if you want to go through insurance because i don't do insurance you can call your insurance and set up with a therapist that still doesn't mean that you're probably going to be a hundred percent that if you have a good therapist and you fit well with that therapist that's the important part you have to feel comfortable with that therapist you're going to make improvements but you may never be at a hundred percent and that's just the reality of it also i read a lot of books not just on narcissism or abuse i read books on power and control so i can learn ways not to be manipulated in the future i read different books on communication i just like to read because i'm always learning so even if you feel like you haven't gotten something from your parents and that you lacked in some way this is 2021 there's books available to you on whatever subject you feel like you're missing if your parents didn't teach you how to clean look it up on youtube google it I tell that to my clients. Some of them feel like, oh, I can't progress because my mother didn't teach me this and that. And I say, can you find it? How can you find it, find it out despite your, you know, not knowing that? And they're like, but my parents never taught me. So doesn't that mean I can never? I'm like, you have Google, you have a book, you have YouTube. There's a way in this age where you can get access to so much information that we didn't have in the past so a lot of it, it to me is just excuses what do you want there's a book there's something somebody on youtube has the answer when i was first um finding out about narcissism i found a lot of research online i had been to different therapists and nobody ever talked to me about narcissism when i described what happened to me you know i found it online for people that were not therapists and that's how i started like oh my god when they did this and this, this was flying monkeys. That was uh, gaslighting. This was all manipulation. Oh, my God. Well, what can I do to make sure this doesn't happen to me again? Because I was attracting them type of people. I learned all that despite going to school for clinical psychology. I was not taught that. I learned it on YouTube. Now I'm able to teach it to my clients and teach it to other people. Why? Because on YouTube, the fact that I was abused didn't stop me from teaching myself. So it's not always trying to get reparented from your birth parent, but it's also, how can you reparent yourself? How can you train yourself to go into the direction that you want? And it's possible. And again, I say, yes, you may be a little slower in some areas than other people. No, you cannot compare your life to other people because you're not going to progress on the same level, but that does not mean you're destroyed. It just means that you're going to take a little extra time. And if you can be okay with that, it's okay. All right, another reason why I think some people are destroyed because they are too focused on inward. Me, 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 what's going on with me? I don't feel this good. I don't think this, 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 this. Give to other people. Are you volunteering with the homeless? Are you volunteering with people that's um, poor or widows or fatherless kids? How can you take all that energy that you have focused inward and place it on, out, on outward? Because you can start to see that you're not the only one that's struggle, struggling or struggle. That there's other people that's out here struggling. And you can be a help to them. Some of the best work I've done is with um, homeless. And I'm still working with the homeless population. For some reason, I keep finding myself with that population. And I do well with them. You know, because maybe I understand the hurt. And now I can also look back and help people. I don't tell them my life. But um, they may assume that everything's great with me. And, you know, 
but I still know my life and I know that I feel good when I can help them back because I can see that we're all in this together and I can try to give somebody some hope. But when I was just all me, me, me and internal and what happened to me, yeah, life sucked more because I was too focused on, um, on myself. Also, um, Focus it on your strengths, you know? A lot of times when I think when people are going through abuse, it's always focusing on believing that the mother or that negative father that was, um, they, they harmed you a lot by what they said to you. So now even though they may not be in your life, their voice is still inside your head. It sounds like you. And that's why you believe it. But a lot of times it's really that negativity that your parents said. If they said you were fat, ugly, or lazy. Now you're saying it and you're wondering where it's coming from. It's coming because now that record is now in your head. And it's really not you. You have to learn to fight that back and focus instead on what you're good at. So if you're an artist, remind yourself when you're feeling down. Like, oh, I created this good art. Somebody said they like it. Somebody bought it. Or if you're a good aunt, focus on the good that you do. Um, you know, with, with your nieces and nephews, the same if you're a good uncle, uncle, you know, if you create music, if you create books, whatever the things that other people praise you about, remind yourself of that. You have to fight that thing. It's called the battle of the mind. I got that from Joyce Meyer, who is a tele-evangelist. And a lot of times because we, um, those negative words, it's, it's, it's our voice in our head. And we begin to think, oh, it's my voice. It's true. No, you have to fight back. A way that you fight back is also with using affirmations. At one time, I didn't believe in those affirmations. But when I really started focusing on those affirmations and saying them like every day, and I still do this, it helped me. I looked at Reverend Ike. You can find him on, um... YouTube and you may not agree with everything you talk about because he he loves talking about some money But I'm telling you if you apply some of his stuff, you may be feeling better about yourself You know telling yourself I am whole I am safe I wake up in the morning and I say this is the, the the day the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad in it because it used to be a time where I Didn't look forward to waking up and I was like this ain't going right this ain't going right I don't want to get a uh, this day is going to suck and it sucked but when I started saying that every day, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. That changed my mind. Now I get up and I'm better. And I'll say stuff. I am whole. I am happy. I am safe. I am enough. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am abundance. I am a successful entrepreneur. I sell millions of books. You know, I am a great therapist and I am sought out by people who can benefit and will gladly pay for my services. I say things like that. And you know, like um, I said, I was waking up one day saying, I am money, I am abundance. And that just happened to be, I looked in my um, mailbox that day and there, there was one of my stimulus, the new one we got for California. So I was like, yes. So keep saying it, fake it till you make it. Keep saying it until you believe those things. I am, be I am beautiful. You know, I have great connections with people. I have great relationships, whatever. I am happily married. I am a great parent. Whatever it is you need to help get yourself through that, you have to fight that thing in your mind. If you just allow those thoughts to keep sitting there and you're not doing anything about it, but you're saying, yeah, I am dumb. Yeah, I am fat. Yeah, I am stupid. Yeah, I am lazy. Yeah, nothing ever happens good for me. Of course it ain't gonna happen to you. And by the way, if you have not already done so, please like this video, share it on your um, social media and with friends that you know may like this video. And also don't forget to subscribe. Leave me comments. I wanna hear your victorious stories. If you don't feel comfortable leaving your um, victorious stories in the comments, send me an email. That information is also gonna be in the description on how you can send me an email. Also, when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna offer two people 60 minute free sessions with me to talk about whatever you want to talk about mental health mental illness anything that you want to talk about you can feel free but that will be after i get over the 1000 subscribers and i i'll let you know later on how we can set that up so you can get your free service and if you want to give it to a friend or somebody else feel free to do that but go ahead and subscribe so we can help us get there so you can Two people can take advantage of those free 60 mini sessions. That's nice, ain't it? Yeah, real nice. I know, thank you. All right, moving on. So, yeah, focusing on your strengths, giving to others, realizing that the battle is in the mind. What brings you joy? That's another way that you don't have to feel destroyed. Focus on that. If it's being with your kids, being with your man, being with your husband,
being with your wife, your girlfriend, focus on those things. If it's music, music brings me joy. You know, I love me some mini Ripperton, you know, or whatever brings you happiness. Focusing on those little things. If we're always focused on, well, when I get to this age or when this happened, when I get this raise, when I get that bonus, you're always looking to when something else is else is happening focus on the present moment what do you have to be grateful for now and the last thing that i will say um also about no excuses you know i'm not here for the excuses this is not the channel for people who want to um glory and being a victim and just saying me 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 and this is what happened and i can't move past and i can't do this and if my mother if my father never treats me right i will never be right well you have whatever it is you have to say i believe it's what the bible says that as a man thinketh so basically um as, as a man thinketh, so is he. Whatever you think about yourself and your life, that is what you're going to have. So if you think abundance and wealth and goodness and peace and you can cheerfully give to those in need, that is what you're going to have. If you think love and happiness, that's what you're going to have. If you think you're defeated, if you think nothing ever great is going to happen to you or anybody you know that is what you're going to have and stick around just briefly for my testimony the reason i'm going to say that i know that it's hard the mental things that you may go through is because when i was 21 years old and this is something i haven't told anybody when i was 21 years old i was having panic attacks i was anxious i was in college i didn't tell anybody what i was going through except a therapist and i don't think i told him how bad it really was because i just didn't for whatever reason and the thing was is i thought i was really going to lose my mind i didn't f feel good about myself just because of all the stuff i had been told you're never this you're never that and it was hard to get that out of my head and somebody who not experienced that would just say well you should have just got over it. you should have just got over it. well you should just get over your fear of um whatever you fearful of too um some people scared of um mice um birds and other stuff um spiders or whatever have you but they'll be quick to tell you to get over whatever you fearful of if it was that easy they would have gotten over whatever they fearful of too huh what is this ginger beer from Trader Joe's or no sprouts but anyway but yeah so I literally was about to lose my mind because I was constantly bombarded with all these negative thoughts I graduated and what happened for me one day I just kept hearing it was my voice get saved get saved and I like, get saved I'm not about to go to church I'm 21 honey I'm about to have me some parties I can drink now I'm not going to nobody church so I'm like 79 get out of here get your life together you know, that's what I was thinking, but it kept, I kept hearing it, get saved, get saved. Then somebody gave me a record and it was a church CD and I'm like, a church CD, this ain't my thing. But anyway, I listened to it and it was a song written by R. Kelly for Trinity 5-7 and it said, I can hear his voice, meaning God's voice calling me. Then if you understand, you understand. But that's for me what that was. I could hear his voice calling me. And for me, I knew what get saved was, was to get closer to God. And so I did that. I, you know, and before um, I move on, I started, after I started hearing that get saved and everything, I started hearing like a battle one day in my mind. It was bad. It was like, you're basically, you're going to be destroyed. You're never going to be healed. You're going to be crazy and in a, it's a insane asylum and I heard another voice it was my voice saying no you're not you're healed that that pain and that um stuff that's making you feel that you're about to lose your mind it's over today and I kept hearing another voice no it's not another yes it is and when I tell you that thing broke that day I had no training in the Bible I didn't know nothing about except God and Jesus and pray now let me down to sleep but when I tell you that day that thing broke, I was delivered from that. That don't mean that everything was 100. I still had a million and two other problems. But that seriousness where my brain, my mind was about to snap away from me, that stopped. God stopped that. And you may not believe, and that's totally fine. I'm telling you, after that, I was baptized in my life. Yes, stuff was still going on that I had to keep fighting the battle in my mind, but things had gotten better, and I felt like I had that help. God was there to give me that help that I didn't have before, and if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be sitting here. I would be somewhere in a mental asylum maybe banging on the walls, you know, and somebody shooting me up with a bunch of psychotropic medications and, dro and I'm drooling because of the side effects. But even if that's not your thing, the, the, the um, you know, the principles still work. 
the affirmations and talking to yourself because there's many people also who don't believe in God who's also overcome battles of the mind telling yourself I am enough I am a conqueror I am victorious I am sane you know I am a winner I am strong I am healthy I am well you can still overcome again like subscribe and share this video leave your success stories or email them to me and know you are not defeated. Your parents did not destroy you. Yes, you may have some issues that you have to overcome and you may never overcome them 100%, but are you totally destroyed as a person? No, you are not a victim. You are a conqueror and you can overcome. And I understand if you don't receive that word, but for those that receive it, then you receive it. And we all, the abused kids, are coming home together because the last thing that I'm going to tell you, what I tell myself is about what happened with me and my mother, I'm the best thing that ever came out of her vagina. And the fact that she don't know the gift that is sitting here, the best thing that ever came out of her vagina, that's her problem. And I tell my thoughts when I hear her voice or other negative things that's into my mind that they are a lie and the truth ain't never been in them. And they ain't never know the good gift that was sitting in front of them. So I ain't going crazy. If I ain't crazy somewhere, then you can overcome too. But do you want to overcome? Because you may be wanting to stay in the victimhood mentality because maybe you can make excuses for why you ain't progressing in life. But at a certain age, you got to stop blaming mommy and daddy. In this video, he ain't me blaming mommy and daddy. It's shedding light on the evil and letting you know that you can overcome with light. Bye.